new book which is out by the ex-vice chief of army staff lieutenant general zamiruddin shah who was also in charge of the army contingent which went to gujarat in the riots during 2002 lieutenant general shah has given an account very different from the special investigation team which had looked into the riots where he says that the army was actually waiting for 24 hours he also says that at one stage he seriously considered recommending the imposition of martial law in gujarat because the situation was so bad but he was dissuaded from taking this extreme step as it might have been construed as overstepping my mandate. But the most explosive revelations in his new book is the delay in deploying the army in Gujarat. So let's just go across to that report now. More than 15 years after the Gujarat riots killed more than a thousand people, the man who led the army to finally put an end to it has given his version of events. General Zamiruddin Shah, or General Zoom as he is widely known, writes in this new book, Sarkari Musalman, how he headed to then Chief Minister and now Prime Minister Narendra Modi's house to ask for help to get his force in, but got no help for 24 hours. He writes, I reached the Chief Minister's residence at 2 a.m. on the 1st of March and to my great relief found Raksha Mantri Mr. George Fernandes there. Both were having a late dinner and invited me to join them. I did but immediately got down to brass tacks. I had a tourist map of Gujarat and asked for the trouble spots. I also gave a list of immediate requirements to enable the army columns to fan out to restore law and order. I returned to the airfield. By 7 a.m. on the 1st of March 2002, we had about 3,000 troops landed, but no transport, so they remained at the airfield. These were crucial hours lost. Our road columns reached us on the 2nd of March, and so did the requisitions, civil trucks, magistrates, police guides and maps. General Shah's words contradict what the special investigating team looking into Narendra Modi's role and that of delayed help found. The SIT said, the army was called on the afternoon of February 28th. Since the army was not available in Ahmedabad, they had to be airlifted. Logistical support for army deployment could only take place at 2.30 p.m. on the 1st of March. It shows no conspiracy on the part of the chief minister and his cabinet. The chief minister had shown alacrity in requisitioning the army. What happened when you reached the chief minister's home at night? Well, at 2 a.m.? Uh, well, uh, he welcomed me. Right. He was very warm and uh, he, both showed great relief. Right. So I said, um, sab, uh, troops are coming to the my first flight. Mein Luckily, I take my vehicle right. and communications. And um, so we shared the, uh, something to eat. And then uh, I moved back with the assurance that things would be provided. Uh, they were ultimately provided on second morning. Right. Uh, Mr. George Fernandez came at, to us at about 10 o'clock. On the second on or the first? Second, on the second. On the second. On the second. Not on the first. Uh, on the uh, second morning. Second. So all of the first you were just sitting? We were just sitting, sitting there. That's right. And George Fernandez was in Ahmedabad then? Oh, did I say second? Uh, I second. think. You say, no, you he, was, he was told first. First morning. First morning, morning at 10 yes. o'clock. And That's what right. did he say then? Well, he said uh, he addressed the whole troop. We got them all together. Right. It was a Senex Sammelan. Right. And he says, uh, you must uh, ensure fair play. Yes. You must make sure that uh, the message goes home that the army has been deployed and uh, whatever is your requirement, we'll make it up. So uh, he left after that. Uh, the tailors, uh, the transport started rolling in on the second and then we deployed. Yeah, but so uh, if you had been deployed on the first itself, would have saved some lives? Of course, it would have saved uh, one day of uh, rioting. Right. That wasn't the only indictment of the Gujarat establishment. The general goes on to write about how George Fernandez or RM didn't help either. I visited Godhra along with the RM the next day and we were shown the burnt carriages. I advised the railways to remove them immediately, but the coaches remained in situ for many months. Grim reminders and symbols of human hatred triggering revulsion and heightening passions among those who saw them. The RM during the visit asked me in confidence what steps should be taken immediately. I recommended an immediate overhaul of the police hierarchy and a police director general from outside the Gujarat Kader. He agreed with me saying, you have taken the words out of my mouth. We waited, but there was no change. In fact, General Shah is most critical of the role the police force played and here is why. 
The partisan attitude of the police lay exposed when I observed that when minority populated localities were surrounded by mobs, the police did not fire at the rioters laying siege, but into windows of surrounding homes of minorities, instead ostensibly to keep the two rioting communities apart, as sheepishly explained to me. I did not hesitate to show disapproval at this contemptible and partisan attitude. While no one in the Gujarat government responded to these revelations, General Zoom also goes on to write about the role that women played as instigators in the riots. An NDTV Bureau report.